What's up guys? It's me, Tiff, and I'm here with a little Sam Bakeman Freed update. I'm assuming a lot of you are sick of hearing about Sam Bakeman Freed, so you're welcome to leave the video anytime. But for those of you who feel like staying, maybe you'll take some sick pleasure in knowing that Sam Bakeman Freed's bail conditions have been tightening. Sam is currently under house arrest at his parents' house in Palo Alto, California. I've made some previous videos about visiting him there a couple of times, um, but recently he's decided to reach out to some FTX employees. Namely, he reached out to Ryan Miller, FTX US's general counsel, in both apparently Signal and email. His email reads, title, Reconnecting. Hey, I know it's been a while since we've talked, and I know things have ended up on the wrong foot. I would really love to reconnect and see if there's a way for us to have a constructive relationship, use each other as resources when possible, or at least vet things with each other. I'd love to get on a phone call sometime soon and chat. So precious. Sounds like an email to an ex-girlfriend. Well, the Southern District of New York didn't seem to like that too much because last week on February 1st, Judge Lewis Kaplan banned Sam from communicating with current or former employees at FTX or Alameda Research except in the presence of counsel. He also added that Sam shall not use any encrypted or ephemeral call or messaging applications, including but not limited to Signal. Today in court on February 6th, these conditions were modified a bit so that Sam shall not use any encrypted or ephemeral call or messaging applications, including but not limited to Signal. However, Sam shall be permitted to place voice calls, FaceTime calls, and Zoom audio and video calls, and use iMessage, SMS text message, email, and Facebook Messenger. Sam shall be permitted to use WhatsApp only if monitoring technology is installed on his cell phone that automatically logs and preserves all WhatsApp communications. So maybe that might bring some of you out there a little bit of joy. Sam certainly seems very frustrated with these tightening bail conditions. I actually spoke to him recently and I asked him specifically about this tampering with witnesses claim. He claims that he was just trying to help. Obviously take that for whatever you think it's worth. I assume most people think that everything he says is a lie anyway, so just gonna throw out there that he responded that he was trying to help. Additionally, the FTX Chapter 11 team, along with their UCC, recently filed a motion to serve discovery requests, including subpoenas with document requests. And amongst this massively long list of requested documents from Sam Bankman fried I am honored to be mentioned. FTX has requested that Sam Bankman fried provide all documents concerning the purported $4 billion of liquidity that came in eight minutes after the bankruptcy filing was completed, which he referenced in his interview with Tiffany Fong, me, <laughs> published on November 29th, 2022. So I'm glad that I could contribute in some small way. Anyway, I'll leave this off with a quick little refresher of that statement he made to me on our first phone call back in November 2022, when he claimed that eight fucking minutes after filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, $4 billion of liquidity came in. So you can listen to that right here. Eight fucking minutes after I filed for bankruptcy, $4 billion more came in um, of liquidity. Speaking of which, on that same phone call, Sam Bankman fried admitted to me that he made large, dark donations to the Republican Party, in addition to his widely publicized donations to the Democratic Party. I, I, I donated to both parties. I donated about the same amount to both parties this year. That was not generally known because despite Citizens United being literally the highest profile Supreme Court case of the decade and the thing everyone talks about when they talk about campaign finance, for some reason, in practice, no one can possibly fathom the idea that someone in practice actually gave dark. So, I don't know, all my Republican donations were dark. Uh, um, and the reason was not for regulatory reason. It's because reporters freak the fuck out if you donate to a Republican, they're all super liberal and didn't want to have that fight. So I just made all the Republican ones dark. Um, but I was, whatever, second or third biggest Republican donor this year as well. Rolls was all for the primary. They didn't give anything to general elections. They don't give a shit about general elections. It's not what matters. Like, it's the primaries where, the, where you good candidates against bad candidates. Well, recently, FTX came out and said that they're sending confidential messages to political figures, political action funds, and other recipients of contributions or other payments that were made by or at the direction of the FTX debtors, Sam Bankman fried or other officers or principals of the FTX debtors, in which I think they're largely referring to Ryan Salame, who, in combination with Sam Bankman fried donated about $93 million to political parties. 
these recipients are requested to return such funds to the FTX debtors by February 28th, 2023, the end of the month. So good luck FTX. I hope you're able to claw back some of that money from politicians to give back to creditors, but uh, we'll see how well that turns out. So that's a quick little SBF update. And I'd also like to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Aura. Aura is a company that protects you from scammers and hackers by scanning the web and the dark web for your sensitive information like your emails, passwords, home address, social security number, and alerts you immediately if it finds anything, as well as automatically requests removal for you. Aura actually found some of my personal passwords, as well as my home address and phone number leaked in multiple places on the internet and the dark web, and they automatically requested removal for me. So if you want to check and see if any of your sensitive information has been leaked anywhere, you can go to aura.com slash Tiffany for a 14 day free trial or check out this handy little QR code. I actually really love Aura, so I'm very excited about this sponsorship. Um, so I highly recommend you check them out. But also, if you want to leave me any questions that you might want me to answer, you can leave them down below in the comments or you can message me on Twitter. I'm very active on there, Tiffany Fong with one underscore. I also have a Substack, tiffanyfong.substack.com. Um, message me anywhere, like, follow, subscribe, comment, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I love you all so very much and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. This is my Marvel style end credit scene. And I forgot to mention in my video, I'm gonna try to check out some crypto conferences and events this year. So let me know what your favorites are because I haven't really booked anything yet and I'm interested in meeting people and I don't know, socializing and partying and drinking. Um, but let me know your favorites and which ones are the most fun and uh, we can maybe meet up or something as long as you're not gonna kidnap me or do anything weird, but um, yeah, okay. Let me know your favorites. I might be going to ETH Denver, maybe Bitcoin Miami. I don't know. I've just been chatting with people. Uh, I don't know where I'm going yet. I haven't booked anything. So let me know. Okay. I love you. Bye.